um, this Nana. Um, so I'm starting my first vlog on my theme because I talked to some people and came up with two themes. One of them will be just Japanese entertainment in general, just Japanese. Um, I'll talk about different companies. I'll just have different things. I'll do random, just random out of the hat stuff. So if I want to go, I would love to talk about this. The other one will be Heisei Jump one. And I'll have to have a cool little name for Heisei Jump one. And then my J Entertainment will be just Day Entertainment. So, um, what do you call it? Um, so, this one, I'm actually going to, this is my introduction, so, I'm going to start off with talking about Johnny's, since that's kind of like my forte, so to say. So, anyway, I've talked before on my other one about Johnny's, mentioned, um, uh, that first you start off, you audition, become a trainee, then become a junior, then if you're lucky, you debut. Um... So, I'm going to tell about the individual, kind of like people in the company, or not the groups that are debuted. So in Johnny's, they, they normally are a group where, or company where they make boy bands, just boy bands. There's not many solo artists. And while well, recently, he, they've been putting out solo artists. Um, for example, the, most, the oldest one right now that's still in Johnny's is Kudo Masahiko or also known as Machi. Uh, people might know him as Machi in question. Um, Machi, Machi in question, they put out a song. And in Johnny's, when you debut, you go into kind of like a different company off from Johnny's sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes it's a company or in Johnny's, like Johnny made his own company. They're more like Johnny's is like the company, and then when you debut, you go out to like other companies, but you're still connected to Johnny's. Um, Kudo or Machi is from Sony. He's in a Sony company. Um, uh, uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, but you know he's still in Johnny's. Basically, he does. He puts his. His record company, the record where they do his songs, normally are advertised by Sony and blah, blah, blah. Um, next one is another guy. I have no idea who this guy is, but he just happens to be on the list. And he's really weird. I saw a video on the Johnny's website about him. He's really weird. Um, his name's Sato Atsuhiro. And he's in Warner Music. And... I'll go look up information about Warner's music and figure out who what the artists they have on there. Um, next is actually a group. Uh, the first two were si single solo artists who kind of like I think they were in groups before or in whatever and or something like that. Figure out that stuff. Not too good with my older guys. Uh, first one will actually be a group. The most popular is Snap. Um, they're in Victor. Victor, but also, they were in Victor, Victor, um, uh, Entertainment, but now they're in J-Dream, which basically J-Dream stands for basically Johnny's Dream, and they, um, basically switched co things, because Johnny's like, oh, we're not even getting the money from, um, the records, so, you know, let's try to make a company for them, um, and then V6, which is another group, is an AVEX, which is a very awesome company. I would love to go tell you guys more about AVEX, how much I love them so much. Um, but I don't have time to go freaking out about AVEX. But V6 does their songs and stuff by AVEX. Um, actually, another group there was Tokyo. Um, they actually play instruments, but they're also Johnny. They were in AVEX, but they switched to another one. And I'll talk about that later. Um, Shonen Tai, yeah, Shonen Tai, Pink Kids, and News, which are from Johnny's Entertainment. Um, everyone gets the per prescri that everyone thinks that J E, which stands for Johnny's Entertainment, 
will, means all Johnnies. That isn't true at all. Basically, JE stands for Johnny's Entertainment, and that only has King Kids Showtime News or anything anything within those. So, like, for example, News has Tego Moss, and um, King Kids has the single. Uh, there's two members of King Kids, so they do their solo stuff, and that's also in Johnny's Entertainment. So, kind of like everyone thinks, oh, JE, Johnny's, basically. I even say that, and I shouldn't, so I been trying to do JNA, JNA was Johnny's and Associates. Um, next three are Arashi, Heisei Jump, and Tokyo. Um, those three are in J Storm. Um, basically, J Storm was created for Arashi because you know Arashi means storm in Japan, in Japanese. So J Storm, kind of like Arashi, kind of like the new group. They were like, oh, they're kind of like the first group to do the whole J Johnny's own record company. Um and then Heisei joined what well, Heisei was formed in two thousand Heisei Jump was formed in two thousand seven and joined was like the next group. And then Tokyo switched in two thousand eight from Avex to J Storm. And then uh, Kanjani is in a group a company I've never heard of. Uh Tei Tei Chiku Entertainment or their record label, the label that they um, are from, is which is like there's Tei 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 Chiku, and then there's inside there's a couple of other things, and that is an imperial 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 entertainment. I can't say that right. Or imperial records basically. So they do their songs to them, and then Cartoon is technically J Storm, but their label, so like the company is JSTORM, but within JSTORM is basically their label and their J, uh, J1 records. So basically people always say, oh, you know, Canton gets their own company. Not really. They're actually from another company. Um, and then in general, all the Johnny Juniors, all the, all the people that aren't debuted are in Johnny or Johnny's Entertainment or um, JSTORM. So, which, for example, NYC Boys, NYC, those groups, um, are within, uh, J Storm, or J, Johnny's Entertainment, and they do, like, any Johnny's related stuff, kind of, most of, like, if Johnny's, like, for example, if they do their own drama, um, they will have, J, uh, J Storm, which, if you noticed, um, the guests of Room Zero was by J Storm. All the member, all the people in it were Johnnies. Not particular people in the Johnny um, J Storm company, because there's K eight, uh, K Con Johnny eight people, and different uh, groups were inside this um, drama. But the theme songs are all by J Storm people, Arashi, Tokyo, um, and stuff like that. So, and then. Because J Storm, J Dream, and Johnny's Entertainment are associated with Johnny's, they're also run by basically Johnny employees, I guess. Well, basically family members. Um, J Storm is run by Johnny's niece, and Johnny's Entertainment was run by his sister Mary. His uh, his niece is Julie, and his sister is Mary. I think J J Dream is by Johnny himself. I think. Oh, no, no. I think, yeah, he, it's Johnny, and then it, their manager is someone else. Okay, so I'm done telling random stuff about Johnny's. So I'll go and do my Heisei Jump one. Yay! So, bye-bye.